And Korea's main opposition party wants to give itself a complete overhaul ahead of the general election slated for next year and the big one, the presidential election in 2017. At the forefront of these efforts in, is the party's innovation chief, who has the unenviable task of uniting a party stricken by factionalism. Our Jim Young Gil has more. The MPD's reform committee, led by the former head of the Gyeonggi-do Provincial Education Office, Kim sang gon has been tasked with reversing the party's tumbling popularity and resolving factional feuds. From this moment on, we must stamp out factionalism. I urge party members to stop holding meetings that divide our party. Kim stated that he will not allow any individuals or groups to stand in the way of the committee's activities. The former superintendent must settle in House discord in the wake of the MPD's crushing defeat in the April by-elections. The MPD's leader has thrown his support behind Kim. Our party is not solving the daily hardships facing the Korean people. By reforming and resolving our problems, we can become a party that makes strong economic policies. Moon added that the committee's goal was also to ensure the MPD is victorious in the 2016 general elections and the 2017 presidential election. However, the MPD's former co-leader says taking responsibility for party's poor showing in last month's by-elections must be the first step. Taking responsibility for our defeat in the April 29th by-election is the reform we need now. It seems the spark for this reform has been lost for some reason. Political analysts say the reforms should reflect the MPD's distinctive liberal spirit and demonstrate that the party has the strength and unity to work on behalf of the people. The reform committee will complete the selection of its personnel by early June. Chim Young-gye, Arirang News.